everyone. Good morning. Welcome back. You're with me on Tuesday. I know that much. August 31st, 9.23. Having a little rough morning here. Just trying to find the, uh, I picked up the new YSL eyeliner called Crush Liner. I couldn't find it. It was in the box on the floor. <laughs> Who knows? All right. Uh, get ready with me with uh, I picked out my little bowl of indie brands we used to do all the time. This little thing, full of little slips that all have indie brand names on them. And came up with Adept Cosmetics. Adept has their own magnetic palettes, and they do have shadows, which I have these. And I'm definitely going to do another order, I'm guessing with the holiday weekend coming up that they'll probably have some kind of sale at Adept. So I need to get me some more shadows to fill this palette up. And like I said, this is one of their palettes and they have several palettes to play with. We're gonna play with that. I'm all befuddled now after I thought I'm losing that eyeliner that I just got in. Uh, what are we gonna do here? Oh, it's the first one I'm looking at, so we're going for it. No maquillage. And I'll even use the damn concealer. Shake them up. You know me, I do concealer first. So. Don't use a lot of concealer, not my thing. Let's just cap them off. All right. And it is lighter than the foundation. I usually match my foundation to, or my concealer to my foundation if I ever do wear it. They didn't have the shade, the, the shade that matches this is, was out of stock. So I just went down a shade, which is fine. Which is fine. All right, give me a little, it's a flat top kabuki. You guys are going to get a lot of me this week. We had Saturday live, yesterday live, we got today. <laughs> Who knows what tomorrow will bring. I guess a lot of rain is coming my way. <laughs> From her, Miss Hurricane Ida there. I guess we'll see how my window holds up. And Greg thinks I did a fine job with it, so. The Il Maquillage, I'm in shade uh, 120. It's the woke up like this. I like it. I can't believe it shade matched me off there. You just do like a shade match on their thing. I was like, this will never match. It matches perfectly. <laughs> and this is a foundation if you don't like the color, if it doesn't match you. This is just what was left on the little pump. I just try to wipe it off. You can return it. They give you like 30 days. You don't like their products? Return them. That's pretty cool. And obviously they sell foundation, concealer, bronzer, some other stuff I'm sure too. I don't have any tissues. Let's use my little wipey wipe here. Shit everywhere. What else is new? Uh, billion dollar brows. I'm gonna sit back. I can't see myself in the mirror. <laughs> and I got sucked into the Ulta sale yesterday with all those platinum perks. I'm laughing. I, you know me. I'm just spend, gonna spend. You have to spend $25 or buy the deal of the day thing to get free shipping. And then you had to spend actually $25 to get like all these extra free gifts. So I bought a, uh, they had Clinique, like powder foundation or some crap. I just grabbed one, who knows? It was down to $15 instead of like 30. And a medium Z palette, which cost $11. <clears throat> And I got a free full-size Tula scrub, which I love. I already have one. It's pretty much almost gone. And that's like a $26 item that's free. There was also like a free, I 
think I already got one in here somewhere. Milani um, mascara. Something else is free too. Uh, Smashbox primer. So I literally bought like two things and got three free gifts. And today, like I said, is the uh, cover effects. I already warned down those um, when we were talking about it. If they tend to sell out quick, so by the time this goes up, they could all be gone. And then trend mood boxes today too. <clears throat> I'll try to upload this as soon as I get home because that usually launches at like one o'clock. But I'm gonna actually hang at work until like twelve thirty. Just so I can order it right while I'm there at the office. Um, got a new bronzer we're going to play with. Uh, Huda Beauty Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder from this Glowish line. I picked up shade 02 Medium. It looks really nice. So we'll see. Let's try that one. Well, I'm just waiting on the. Settle down for a second. What we got here? Let's see if this will work. It's just an angled brush. This is a Moto one. I'm just going to swirl it in and. No scent. Ooh, I like this. Has just a little bit of a red undertone to it. Beautiful. By looking at it, I wasn't sure if it'd be too light. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh. I don't know why I ever even doubt Huda. She makes nice products. Oh, and then Natasha Denona with the new retro, I think it's retro mob or something. It's like, come on, she made that palette for me. Natasha's heard me that I love mauve, so she made Brenda a palette. It's one of the $65 ones, which is fine. And I think my crazy ass gonna pay full price for it. I know, I know, I normally don't pay full price for much, but that mauve palette, it's just screaming my name. All right. Okay, since I have just completely random colors here, we're just going to have to go with it. I don't want to pull in anything else. Um, I'm going to go with that pinky shade in the crease. Screw it. Since we had green yesterday. And these shadows are beautiful. And they're really not that expensive. I think she has custom or like pre-made palettes possibly too. But I always forget like how good the quality of her shadows are. And we've used this in another get ready with me at some point. I'm trying to find a phone holder that'll hold my this thing. Telephone. <laughs> Straight up and down to do those TikTok videos. Greg had the great idea of the phone cup holder. But the phone cup holder still has it like an angle like this and it's like I need it to click like just to this. Driving me nuts but he's like I'll figure it out. And he will. I'll figure out something. I have a baby pink in here. I think her shadows have numbers. Yeah, so this is like ACS15. That's this light pink. But if you haven't tried them, try any of them, they're fine. I think now she might even have some duochromes. Maybe let's do pink and gold. Pink and... Mm, yeah, maybe I'll do that gold eye in a while. Ah! 
Uh, this is ACS 30. It does pick up on the brush. You could just use your finger if you wanted to. Look at that little hula. Nice bright. These would probably go on better with a finger, but you know I'm a brush girl. Got them stubby, so and you can see how foiled those are. And all the gold's just gonna transfer up into the pink anyway, so it really doesn't matter. The joy of having hooded lids. Alright, I wanna use this teal on the bottom. Uh, we got a teal liner over here. We must have a teal one. Teal-ish, besides my, uh... Oh, I'll use this NYX one. Uh, NYX Epic Liner Stick Intense Teal. Oh, I said I wanted teal, and I got intense teal. I want to use the teal shadow. brush. Uh, this one is AC S3. <laughs> Just a needle brush. Oh shit, I got on my waterline. You want to see my Lorac collection, or just a you know thing of the drawer? That's on TikTok. Curl some lash action here. We got a lot of colors going on here. You well know I don't care if I look crazy. <laughs> don't care. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna use the Fenty Black Fly Liner to tight line with. Oh, and the bomb is 50% off too today. They might have did it for a day or two. I don't know when it ends, but. Okay, got enough crap on the eyeballs. Okay. Uh, blush. Yeah. We'll use the. Oh, I gotta finish my eyes. Duh! Where's my eyeliner? <laughs> Alright, this. It worked pretty well yesterday. Gotta say. It's right up there with my, uh, lawn comb. Use you here. It's harder than you. Hey, knock it off. Shyla. Guaranteed it's Shyla. Could be Kuka. Kuka's been an asshole this morning. They love to switch off. Beauty. Come on, guys, girls, whatever the hell you are. Terrorizing my ladies every morning with their craziness. And it is this is retractable, just so you know. You know, swirl up the land comb I have to uh sharpen. What are we doing? Blush. God. Could use that physician's formula palette. Back up a little bit there. There you go. 
I'm just gonna go on with this. Yeah, I'll go on with this one. Oh, it smells so good. A new highlighter, uh, Bronze Goddess Modern Mercury. This is from Estee Lauder. I bought my mom. I they were having like spend forty bucks at Boscov's and then get this bag of Estee Lauder skincare. My mother loves Estee Lauder skincare, so highlighter for me, skincare for Mama. Uh, Hakka, a uh, Chickahoto brush. That's pretty. It's one of those, it has a translucent base. Oh, that's nice. You see, you can only see it if I pop it. It's a big gelé formula. That's why I'm using the Chickahoto. The Chickahoto just picks up big gelé products beautifully. Because the bristles are a little more textured at the end. So I can grab that formula. If I can. And slaughter. Ah, uh, mascara. What do we got here? I haven't we used here in a while. Oh, let's lose the little rock. Holy. Right. I moved all my lippies out of the way to the laptop over here yesterday. Okay. Well, this is a bright, colorful look, that's for sure. That's banging gold color. But Adept is definitely worth checking out. Even if you just want magnetic palettes. If you put it in the search engine, you'll see I've bought several other I bought several other palettes just alone. But I haven't done an indie order in a while. I think Gimme Glow launched a bunch of new um highlighters too. That's dangerous on my end also. Uh, Lippy, what do I got in front of me over here? I think this is Pillow Talk. Yep. My little itty bitty ones. I just need to. Oh, my Lippies are over there. I'm like getting up. With all this going on, I guess I could keep a new lip for me. That's fun. Simple and easy. Oh my God, I saw a trick last night. I gotta show you this. I think it was on, I think it was on Urban Decay's website. I wish I would have thought of this. All right, this is just the Aphrodisiac Palo, Palo, Palette from Urban Decay. It would only work with shadows that are like this. I almost shit when I saw them do this. Check this out. The chick took her arm, took the palette, just put the palette on her arm, and swiped. <laughs> it's like a bitch, it works. <laughs> I, I mean, it's not as good, you know, but you could just kind of go back in and s smooth them out. But look at that. It just wipes the damn I'm like, oh my God. And the worst thing I'd have to do is just wipe my finger across the bottom of the palette right here just to get off any product. I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. But even if you just took your finger and smoothed them down. Look, look, it freaking works. Genius, absolutely genius. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it would work with like a 12 pan because it's still a big palette, <laughs> but you know I'm gonna damn try it. But obviously it would only work with 
up and down shadows, so it's one swipe of one swipe of the palette, which is pretty damn cool. All right, I think that's everything. Yeah. All right, everyone have a fabulous day. I guess I'm getting some rain tomorrow, so who knows what can happen down here. I may film, I may lose power, I never know. And if not, I will see you Thursday for Get Ready With Me, and then we'll play again on Saturday night. All right, ladies, have a great day. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.